Welcome to Programming from Scratch. Today we're going to cover getting a new environment set up for JavaScript unit testing with the Jasmine library. Alright, the first thing that we need to do is create a folder. I've already done that. Got my folder right here. Next thing we need to do is go and get the Jasmine framework, which is at jasminegithub.io. You don't want to grab the Edge version. Uh, it's kind of like a beta, uh, but click on the version before that. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a link to a releases page, which will take you to the latest stable release. You want to click on the zip code, or zip file, open. All right, we don't need a much of this. So in our folder that we created, we want a few folders. We want a JavaScript folder. We want a No, yes, we want a CSS folder. Inside the JavaScript folder, we want a source. And we want a third party folder. All right, third party is where Jasmine is going to initially go. So if we let's slide these over. All right, so we can just take this whole Jasmine folder, drag it over into third party. And we don't need this anymore. We'll close that and we'll use that in a minute. All right, if we open the Jasmine folder, we want boot, console, Jasmine, and Jasmine HTML to stay. Jasmine fav icon, wait a second. I think I closed it and we actually needed something. Ah, yes, okay. Keep that for a second. We want the Jasmine cascading style and the Jasmine fav icon we want to remove those. We're going to put them outside. We can put them into CSS. It will be fine. All right, so we go back to the third party library and we should just have these four files. We don't actually need console, I don't think, but we'll just leave it. All right, and then we do not need their specs or their source. We're going to create our own stuff. Uh, we do want their spec runner, and I believe we have to copy the MIT license. We'll put those right here. I'm going to grab the MIT license and put it with the third-party folder. Just like that. All right. <clears throat> we have source and third-party. We also need specs. All right. Um, we need to go to the spec runner and we'll have to modify this file just a little bit. Get over here like this and we want the browser. Okay, so we moved these out. They're not in the lib folder anymore. They are actually in CSS and they're not in the Jasmine 3.4 stuff either. So just get rid of that. All right, and then these are also not in lib. They are, however, in JS, third party. So we'll just copy that and paste it a couple times. Okay, and these we just got, we're not copying at all. We don't need those. All right, we do want to create a spec here just to ensure that we've set up the framework correctly. So we'll add scripts with a source of JS slash specs slash framework test dot spec dot JS. All right, now we need to go and create that file. We just create a new file here. So we'll start it off with an immediately invoked function expression. Just good JavaScript coding practices to always do this. All right, so the thing we want to describe is we want to describe the <clears throat> the Jasmine unit testing framework or library. I'm not sure which one they prefer to be called. Okay. If you haven't used Jasmine before, this is the basic flow that you would have for tests. So we're going to say that um, describe is <coughs> wrapping a feature 
and then the individual tests uh, start with it. So it um, can pass a test. All right, and we expect one to be zero. And the reason I'm starting with this one is because you always want to see a failing test first. So we'll put that in specs. It needs to be a, nope, not a Java, JavaScript, which is just below that. Where'd it go? Ah, okay, JavaScript file. We're gonna call it um, framework test.spec.js. All right, and now we need to open this. It's going to open it there. We can close the Jasmine page. Okay, so we see this, and it doesn't look like it loaded our file. So first thing we want to do is we we'll make sure it's in the right place. Framework test dot spec, and it's a JavaScript file. Framework is spelled correctly. Test is spelled correctly. Spec is spelled correctly. Okay, so we can shrink that back down. If we go look at the spec runner, it's js specs framework test dot spec dot js. That all seems correct. This all seems correct because it's actually loading the, um, the HTML. So what has gone wrong? Let's try a different browser. That was uh, Microsoft's Edge, and I'm not entirely sure that it works correctly for this purpose. So we'll try opening it with normal Internet Explorer, which makes you do this. And again, nothing. So one thing we can do as a test is we can make sure that we are referencing a file that actually exists. There is the possibility that something is spelled wrong, even though I checked it. It does look like the file exists. <clears throat> are there any JavaScript errors? We are invoking the immediately invoked ex function expression. We're using strict. Um, okay, there it is. Describe was spelled wrong. Describe it, expect. Let's try again. There we go. All right, so the test is properly failing now. And now we can go and verify that it can pass a test. So we'll just change it, hit F5. And there you can see we have one spec, zero failures, and the Jasmine unit testing framework can pass a test. So that's it. We're all set up to start development on a new project uh, with uh, JavaScript core. And um, we'll cover more in a later video. Uh, leave a like if you liked seeing these kinds of things. And if you don't or you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Thank you for watching.